Hey guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallulah, Poet Spice, and I am here to do a video for planning to craft. First off, I have to say I am so sorry because she sent me the links for this and the other materials that I'm going to show you. She sent these a while ago and I, with everything going on, I have not gotten this up so I have to apologize for that apologize to her as well but I'm gonna go ahead and get this started so you can see what is going on now so first I'm gonna start with the products that she had in her shop that she sent me as far as um extra supplies and then I'm gonna go through and show you the kit that I printed off and I wanted to do a showing of the print before I actually started cutting it up and making journals or whatever I was gonna make out of it. So let me show you the, the, the physical product, okay? So she sent this fabric. <clears throat> so there's a piece of fabric that she had in here. And I love the color, so that's fabulous. And I don't know how I'm gonna use this, but we shall see. I'll have to go and look at my girl Rose's videos because you know she is all about her fabrics and stuff. So there was that one. She sent these little wooden buttons and there's a little cabochon, a couple little metal bits here and then the other ones. She sent a little pocket, that's some pretty color copper with some washi samples one here. I don't know if you can see those. They've got foil on some of them, so I'm trying to get the reflection to, to work right. I'm loving this copper one. Y'all know I love the copper. Okay, so there's that. Um, there were these little pieces of fabric that were tied, tying things together. Excuse me. Some of this, which is cute. Ooh. It's like a tissue paper, so let me stick it under there. And then there were some tie dot, tie dyed, tea dyed, so forth paper. I don't know where this little line came from, but I like that. Oh my! I like that <coughs> swirly. And then have this one. I love the coffee dyed, tea dyed, well, tea dyed, coffee dyed, uh, the other little bits. All the little designs. think they're fun but I tell you it takes a lot of energy to do it some people had some ideas where you could spray it and it goes faster but I just don't have the patience <laughs> I did some before and I did I don't know how many pages I did but whew, child can I just say I haven't done it too many times since <laughs> So these are all pages that were in there. Then she had some book pages. Clean Geometry, 1910. I have a book from the 18, 1860s or something. It's a math book too, it's just sitting up there because I can't bear to do anything with it because I love it so much. So, she had some book pages. Do, do, do. The square of the hypotenuse. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. I was just watching. We were just watching. Me and Mr. Man were watching um, Hidden Figures again for like the fifth time. And I was like, oh. I'm a pretty smart cookie, okay? But, oh, 
how awesome would it be to be like genius math level? Woo! Okay. So then there's some more of these tea dyed or coffee dyed papers that she has. I like these blue ones. Of course I do, right? Because it's me. So if it's blue, you know. Right, right. Okay. So, more papers. <coughs> so, like I said, I had to apologize for taking forever to get this done. But you'll have to check out her shop. It's planning to create. I'll put this back over here. And then I'm going to show you the steampunk kit. It has nine background pages in it. And it's made to print on eight and a half by 11. She sends an instruction sheet on how to print with the files. Um, and then I'm going to show you some other things that you can do with your digital kits. Okay. So first off, this is what it printed. I used some regular old copy paper and then I printed it double sided. So first you've got this one. And it's kind of got a like a distressed look to it. And then this one. I really like this part over here. So we've got this kind of distressed look going on with it. This page, I have to say, is my favorite out of the kit. <coughs> Excuse me. I just love it. I don't know. There's something about the colors and the way it mixes. I love this. And then there's this one. So it's got that on it. And then you have this one, which had lines over top. And then this is the page I went and printed on the back of all of them as well. This one. So you got this kind of muted thing going on. And then a little skull right there. There's this one. You can see the little people. And then this one. This one's kind of funny. I love the colors in it, like the brown is in it. But this is so funny because I'm thinking it's a rabbit if, or maybe it's a dog. I don't know. But the fact that it's all laid out, <laughs> he's chilling with his hat on like, yeah, don't mess with me. Okay. And then here's that plain page. So you can see how that one and then the plain page without the lines. And then I like this one, too, because it's kind of got that Salvador Dali look on top of a steampunk thing going on. So it's kind of got that that look going on so you know I guess I never really talk about the fact that I do like a lot of Sal Salvador Dali pieces um because they're just weird <laughs> like the melting clock so forth all right then there were these two pages that she had in here and I printed them on the same type of paper although now I wish I had printed it on heavy paper but that's okay I can always rerun it okay so I wanted to show you those before I started using them. And then I wanted to show you other things that I did with them. So those are your nine backgrounds in this kit. And then she sent me those other two. Okay, so one thing that you can do, I printed the originals on white paper, and this time I printed them on um, craft paper. It's a heavier craft paper, too. It's like 70 pounds. So you might, your printer may not take 70 pounds, but most printers, um, will take six up to 65 pound weight cardstock after that it's usually depending but it all depends on yours so my printer <coughs> will you uh, will allow you to do a full page it'll allow you to do a full page with no border which is what these are so you see there's no white space um, it will also allow you to do two five by sevens um, some other configurations of it so I went ahead and took this one because I liked it and I printed it on the craft paper and I did it five by seven so it's a little smaller you can still do the same thing fold it in half if you wanted to that's my, my intention but there you go 
my printer will also let you do wall um, nine by nine which is wallet size I want to say it is and it'll also go down to um, 12 by 12 pictures page or something like that um, contact sheet size so <laughs> I told you this was my favorite page so I printed it nine times on this craft cart and then you can see how lovely it looks and then I just left the plate the, the pieces of plate on the back um, I did the same thing with this one because I really liked how it printed out so all I did was tell my printer I wanted it to do it wallet size send it to the printer um, this one I want to say this one was do it four by four so I took those two well, I guess I only did one. I took the one set and I had it printed four times. So that's four by something. And then your little pieces are even smaller. So I could just leave it as a whole thing or cut it up. Another thing that you can do is you can change the color or in this case, <laughs> my printer, when I started printing things out, my printer was running out of ink and I didn't want to just let the color ink go because I'm like, ink is expensive. So I wanted to see what it would print like with what ink I had left. So this was actually my first experiment printing it, trying to run down what the ink I had. So it printed with a green cast. And I actually really like this paper in the green. So don't forget that you can do things like that too. <clears throat> and then these are just plain on the back. So here's that like Salvador Dali when I was talking about how it looks like it was melting in the green tones. There's this one. And then you can see it was running out of ink. But I think this is cool as well because it gives you like stripes, but the stripes are uniform. So it looks like it was supposed to print that way. Same thing here. So don't think that you can't do some printing even when your ink is low. Now this one obviously was supposed to be that brown. So it just comes out like a lot of green. Okay, then this is that one. This is like the dirigible one. There's that one. I told you I liked it, so I printed it twice. <laughs> There's the other one with the little stall when I was running out of more ink, and here it is again. So you can see the difference between these two just because I had less ink. But it works because it's steampunk, so there you go. So and if you were doing shabby chic or something, you could do the same thing. And then here, I printed these off, and so it gives them the green tint as well. So I just wanted to go through and show that so I could get this video up and get all that out for you. And then, like I said, check planning to craft. It'll be in the description box below with the link. And so you can go check out our Etsy shop. She would see what she's got over there. And then I will bring be back with one or two more videos um, to show you actual products, projects that I made from the things that she sent. Okay. So go check her out. And like I said, once again, I apologize for taking forever to get this done. All right. See you guys later. Definitely go check her out. Bye.